Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to do our knowledge six lesson five lesson on the moon. We've talked a little bit about the moon, but we are going to go in deep today and talk all about the moon. Are you ready first graders? Let's begin. First, before we get to our story, we have to talk about the words that we're going to hear in our story. Give us a little bit of some background knowledge. So let's begin with that first word. That first word we're going to hear in our story today is the word appearance. Appearance means the way something looks. An example of this is a tree's appearance changes as the seasons change and its leaves turn brown and fall off. The word appearance. Our second word is counterclockwise. What a ginormous word. Counterclockwise means moving in a circle toward the left, the opposite direction from the way clock hands move. Boys and girls, here's a circle. Imagine that this is a clock. 12 is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a clock. Clockwise goes this way. The hands move around a clock this way to the right. Well, counterclockwise goes to the left. Counterclockwise moves to the left. An example of this is to loosen a screw, you have to put a screwdriver into it and turn it counterclockwise. Our next word is craters. Craters are large holes. There were large craters in the middle of the road. So drivers had to drive carefully around them. Craters. Our next word is crescent. A shape of a visible moon curves with two pointed ends. Crescent. An example of this is, my banana was shaped like a crescent. And our last word we're going to hear in our story today, boys and girls, is reflecting. Also means bouncing. An example of this is, I thought everything looked magical with candlelight reflecting off the walls of the room. Reflecting. Do you see how the light of the candle reflects or bounces off of the surface? Those are the new words I'd like you to listen for as I'm reading our story. Let's talk a little bit about the word nonfiction. Nonfiction means that this story is going to give us facts. It's going to provide information about a real topic. It's often going to contain photographs. And we're going to have text features like maps, diagrams, tables, labels. We might not see all of those text features today, but we will see a couple. Before we begin this story today, boys and girls, please know that the moon does not have a light of its own. The light that you see when you look up at the moon is actually light from the sun reflecting or bouncing off the moon. Keep that in mind. One more thing as I get ready to start this story is we are going to pretend to travel back in the past a bit to find out what people believe about the moon because of the way it appeared when they looked at it from Earth. Are you ready? Listen carefully to find out what is true or correct about the moon's appearance and what were misunderstandings people had or old stories that people made up about the moon. Ready? Here we go. Earth's closest celestial neighbor is featured in this photograph. What is this famous celestial body called? It's the moon. People have been looking at the moon and wondering about it for thousands and thousands of years, and they have invented all kinds of stories about it. Some ancient myths explain that the moon was the sun's sister. Other people said that the moon was a giant face looking down on Earth. Some children's stories even said that the moon was made of cheese. Why do you think people thought the moon was made of cheese? In fact, the moon is basically just a big, cold, dark rock. You heard it right. Although the moon sometimes appears to be shining and bright in the night sky, the moon does not produce any light of its own. It is not a star like the sun, but just a rock. 
the light you see when you look at the moon is actually light from the sun reflecting or bouncing off it. While Earth orbits or revolves around the sun, the moon orbits or revolves around Earth. Do you remember how long it takes for Earth to orbit or go all the way around the sun? It takes 365 days or one year. Can you guess how long it takes for the moon to orbit Earth? It takes a little more than 27 days or about one month for the moon to take a complete trip around Earth. But the moon also rotates on its axis as it orbits Earth. In fact, the moon rotates exactly once as it orbits Earth. This remarkable feature keeps the same side of the moon always facing Earth. That means we never see the back of the moon when we look up at the sky. The appearance of the moon or the way the moon looks to us on Earth changes depending on where it is in its orbit. Follow the arrows in this diagram and you can see that the moon orbits Earth in a counterclockwise motion. The sun is over on the right hand side of this diagram. Here's the sun. To the left, counterclockwise, to the left. This image gives you a better idea of what the moon really looks like during each of its phases. During the first half of its orbit, the moon is said to be waxing, meaning that over the course of several nights, more and more of it becomes visible from Earth. Then halfway through its cycle, the full moon appears, meaning that the side facing the Earth is also facing the light of the sun. As the moon completes the last half of its orbit, less and less of it is visible each night. During this time, we say that the moon is waning. Less of the moon is seen. By the time it completes its cycle, it appears as little more than a shiny silver of light in the sky. Waxing, full moon, waning, new moon. On other nights, it looks like there is no moon at all. Remember how the moon does not make any light of its own? Well, sometimes the moon is between the sun and the earth, and the side of the moon facing the earth does not reflect any sunlight. When this happens, the side of the moon facing the earth is dark, and it looks like there is no moon in the sky. This is called a new moon. Boys and girls, I know that all you see right now is a black screen. That's what you're supposed to be seeing. So when there is a new moon, we can't actually see it because no light is reflecting off the moon. The moon never looks exactly the same from one night to the next. The moon does not change its shape. It is always a big round rock. Instead, it only appears to change shape. Depending on how sunlight hits the moon during its uncertain nights, you can only see a sliver or small piece of the moon. This is called a crescent moon. On other nights, it looks like someone sliced the moon in half. This is called a half moon. Remember, the moon only looks like it is changing shape. It is always a big round rock but it can look different during its orbit depending on how the light reflects off of it. Halfway through its cycle, the moon looks like this. This is called a full moon because the full round moon is shining brightly in the night sky because it takes only 27 days for the moon to complete its orbit on Earth and most months in the calendar have about 30 days it is possible for a full moon to appear twice in the course of one calendar month every once in a while. When this happens, it is called a blue moon. This is rare. It only happens every few years. So if you hear someone say that something only happens once in a blue moon, they mean that it doesn't happen very often. Some people say 
They see what looks like a man's face when they look at the full moon. That is why people sometimes talk about the man in the moon, as though there really were a face on the moon. Can you see what appears to be two eyes, a nose, and a mouth on this moon? Of course, in reality, there is no face on the moon. It's just a big, round rock. Let's take a closer look at the moon. People sometimes see what looks like a man's face on the moon because of dark areas on the moon's surface. Do you see these dark areas? These dark areas are places where a long time ago, lava from inside the moon poured out into the moon's surface. These areas no longer have lava in them, but the holes left behind reflect sunlight differently than the rest of the moon's surface. So when you look up at a full moon, you can see some of the deep and dark holes across the moon's surface. When you take a close-up look, you can see that the moon's surface is also covered with hundreds and thousands of craters or big holes. To understand why these craters are there, you need to know a few more facts about the moon. Unlike Earth, the moon has no atmosphere. There is not a protective bubble of air around the moon nor does the moon have any water, soil, or plants, or any other signs of life whatsoever. Without an atmosphere, the moon has nothing to protect it from all the rocks and debris that zoom through outer space. These strike Earth all the time, but when they hit the atmosphere, most of them burn up in a streak of light known as a meteor. Rocks and debris, however, do not burn up when they hit the moon. They just crash right into the moon's surface and leave what are known as impact craters. An impact is a crash. In a later read aloud, you will learn the amazing true story about a real man on the moon. Not just lava lakes that look like a man's face, but actual men who traveled to the moon and walked around it. Do you know what we call these people who travel in space? Do you know how they got there? Over the next couple days, you are going to get to learn all about them. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed learning more about the moon today. Continue the rest of your lessons. Have a great day.